Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to your Lunch Break Live. Today is Wednesday, March the 17th. My name is Savannah, if you are new here. Today, unfortunately, our topic is severe weather. This is something, uh, if you have lived in Alabama for a while, unfortunately, you're probably used to. If you are new to Alabama, uh, that's something that, unfortunately, is part of our daily, not daily, but our yearly vocabulary, for sure, and especially during the spring. We know that uh, tornadoes unfortunately, have already hit our state this year, uh, and there has been at least one person who was killed by a tornado this year uh, just several weeks ago. Today, we are expecting more severe weather. I'm going to break it down for you, tell you what you need to expect, show you some maps here so you can get your day planned, you can have your safe space planned. So, I am going to pull up my my phone here so I can read your comments. If you have questions, comments, anything like that, please leave them. I'm going to look at them and I will answer your questions as we go. But let's start out with just some of the basic information that we have. What you are in store for today. You can look at this, see what you're in store for today. Excuse me, I think the internet popped out here, but it looks like we are we are back and we're good to go. So today, the Alabama Emergency Management Agency has said that between afternoon and overnight is the best probability for severe storms here in Alabama. That potential for winds is 70 miles an hour and above. There could be hail the size of baseballs, and there's a possibility for long track EF2 or greater tornadoes. Not uh, not good news for those of us living in Alabama, but the better news is that if you are prepared, you will be safer than if you are not. Looking at this map, you can see the different color coding uh, areas of the risk level. We know that a large part of the state is under a moderate risk level. That's a four out of five, which means severe weather is likely. Now, there are parts of Alabama, though, that are in that high risk level. That is a five out of five risk level. That is not something that the Storm Prediction Center uses lightly. And that high risk area includes Birmingham and Tuscaloosa. That is an expanded look. Um, previously, it only included a small part of West and Central Alabama. I'm going to come back on your screen. I can pull that up in a minute uh, as well, but I want to show you another map in just a second. But if you missed what I was saying a minute ago, most of the state is under at least a four out of five risk level, which, which means a moderate risk level from the Storm Prediction Center. There is a small part of the state that is not included, but the majority of the state is. Nearly all of that state is in an enhanced risk category. What you need to know in that high risk category, I'll pull that up one more time so you can see that map, excuse me, while I, I do this. But if you can see in that high risk part of the map, it includes Birmingham and Tuscaloosa. Again, that is not something that the Storm Prediction Center takes lightly. That is not something that they uh, they use very often. And that is a upgraded risk from what had been done before and what had been shown before. Uh, prior to this updated map that I'm gonna give you and bring you in just a second, this updated map is different because previously only West and Central Alabama were really included in that high risk level. You can get a look at that. I'm going to look at some of your your comments, and I am going to uh, I'm going to bring on another map here in just a second. Important thing to note as well is that the Storm Prediction Center is saying there are going to be multiple rounds of this storm. They say they're expecting about three different rounds, and that this is going to be a quote long duration event. Not something that we want to hear, but unfortunately, that is what we are being told. I'm going to look at these notes, make sure I get you the most up-to-date information. And these three rounds, here are the timing for those. There's an 8 a.m. to a 12 p.m. round. That is primarily in North Alabama. So we're just kind of almost getting out of that round. Now, the noon to 7 p.m. is where all of the state is ex expected, excuse me, to be affected, especially the western part of the state. So you can see on this map here, Tuscaloosa and west is really expected to be affected in that afternoon round. Now, the overnight round is where forecasters are getting worried. That's 7 p.m. to 11 to midnight, and even on from midnight into the early morning hours of Thursday, is where forecasters say there is the largest chance for severe weather. Read, severe weather, tornadoes, and other strong storms. That is where forecasters are really worried. 
Unfortunately, we do know that there's a high, higher likelihood that people will be seriously injured or killed in these overnight storms because many people don't wake up for these warnings. Uh, we have a link on AL.com, one of my producers can drop here, that gives you some of those best apps you can get for your smartphone if you do not have a weather radio that you can really keep up with that map and keep up with the radar and any warnings that are in your area. Now I'm going to pull up another map here. And this is actually a look at the the overnight risk, that one I talked about that forecasters are most worried about. This is a map that shows you that 7 p.m. and up through the early morning hours on Thursday. So you can really get a look at what you need to expect overnight. That's that scary time we're talking about. Now that top west, northwest corner, you can see that is going to the Muscle Shoals, Hamilton, Fayette area. That area is expected to be hit with these storms. Again, they're moving from the west. Those storms are expected to hit around 7 p.m. to 3 a.m. So those are those overnight storms we talk about that is uh, unfortunately always scary. Now, that kind of middle of the state region that you see in that middle of those top two dotted lines that is kind of your central alabama and that includes tuscaloosa birmingham jasper coleman huntsville that entire region there in the middle that is expected to be hit around 11 p.m to 4 a.m again that is one of those overnight storms that is uh even scarier unfortunately because there is not there's the risk that people might not wake up that is why the storm prediction center and all of our forecasters including our al.com forecaster lee morgan says you've got to have a way that is not an outdoor siren to get alerts that is the reason why because when it is overnight if you are like me you're a hard sleeper and sometimes those outdoor sirens are not going to wake you up. Let's move on to that third part of the state. That is our after midnight region, after midnight to 7 a.m. So again, into those early morning hours on Thursday, that's where we're expecting kind of the last round of these storms as they begin to exit the state on Thursday morning. Now that area includes Montgomery, Alex City, Auburn, Troy, Evergreen. Mobile's kind of in the middle of that second region and that third region, but they uh, it looks like they're kind of lying a little bit more on the third. But either way, they're they're unfortunately right kind of in that middle. It's hard to predict where what timing is going to happen there. But that line, that third uh, region we're talking about, that line goes along Selma, Clanton, Camden, and uh, and then up even into Gadsden and Fort Payne. So that's that third region we're talking about. That is our overnight again, 12 a.m. to 7 a.m. on Thursday region. And then that that bottom southeast corner of the state with uh, with Dothan and Eufaula, that area is not expected to be hit. So that's kind of our one area that is a little bit less out of that map. But that does not mean that you can just run around and, and not expect anything to happen. Still be prepared, but that is more of the uh, the lesser risk area, we will say. Those storms are expected to be moving out of the state by Thursday morning. That's why you see that southeast corner and you follow Dothan. Is, uh, that's got that 4 a.m. to 10 a.m. timestamp because that's expected to, to move out there a little bit. So that's the that third round of storms. I'm going to I'm going to keep that up here uh, as well so you can see that. We can talk about it in a minute. Lots of lots of people commenting. I'm going to get to your comments. Something though, while I'm looking through these comments to remind you, we put this on Facebook last night as long along with our Instagram page. And these are some things to do to get prepared for severe weather. We have all of that on AL.com along with a live updates page where you can keep up with the latest information. But one of those things, spoiler spoiler alert, I'll tell you on the how to be prepared. Know where you are in the state. There are so many people who are not aware of the counties that surround them, especially those counties to the west of their location. Our forecaster, Lee Morgan, says that is something you really need to know. That way, when you are listening on your app or your weather radar or your television or your internet, when you hear the names of the county that our forecasters will call out of saying that they need to be in their safe space, you will know that that county is near you and you might be next. Very important thing to remember here as we move into this uh, unfortunate severe weather event that we are expected to have today. 
I'm going to pull up actually uh, both of those maps. I want to pull them up and let you see both of them side to side. I'm going to do that now. And that will hopefully give everybody a little bit more of a look uh, as kind of a broad look at what we are expecting. So I'm getting that ready at the moment. Uh, while I pull up these maps, give me your questions. I'm going to pull them up in just a minute. I did have to crop this this map here on the left a little bit so I can I can get those words to you in a second if you need them. I'm looking through some of your comments at people saying that they are staying home. You know, even if you you were not staying home, many places are closing early today. When I say places, I mean cities and uh, city governments and other places uh, that are that are run by those agencies. We know that many departments of health are closing early today. So if you had uh, maybe a coronavirus vaccine or even tests scheduled, check with that location before you drive out there. Many places are starting to close right now. Uh, right noon we have some places closing at 2 and, and some places actually closed about 10 a.m. so a little bit earlier as well so I would definitely make sure that you call before you get uh, before you head out to that location I got a question on uh, believe from Greg he asked about Millbrook now Millbrook is right outside of the Prattville Montgomery area Again, let me repeat something that that we mentioned earlier, and uh, I don't, I'm not sure if if anybody has joined since then. And that is the timing of these storms. We know that there are going to be several rounds of storms today. What does that mean? That means that we're going to be hit earlier this morning, which I believe is kind of we've almost passed that first round, right? We had that early this morning round that hit especially North Alabama. We have that afternoon round, even into the evening, that noon to 7 p.m. That is where all of the state is expected to be hit, especially the western part of the state. That is our second round. That's the round that we're about to enter right now, just about 11, 13 here uh, where I am. So that noon to 7 p.m. is where most of the state is going to be hit with uh, with storms and other weather, uh, other severe weather. But that overnight, that third round that we're talking about, that third round is really where you need to be paying attention. That third round starting about 7 p.m., moving on through the overnight hours and even into Thursday morning. So this map right here that I've got right now, this color-coded map, shows you your risk area. So uh, I believe it was Greg asking about Millbrook. You are in that, you're right on that, that high-risk area. But something that our forecasters in the National Weather Service have, have told us is that you don't need to pay as much attention to your color as you do what's happening in the state. So just because you're in maybe that orange area, that doesn't mean that you get to be completely out of this preparation loop, right? You still need to get prepared even if you are in that orange area around the uh, Auburn Troy region. So the overnight timing, what, what's going to happen there? Let me pull that, that map up one more time so you can see that map. That is actually the one that is uh, the most important at this point according to forecasters. Why is that the most important? It is because it's overnight. That is unfortunately when many people are, are asleep and not paying attention to their uh, their warnings or their weather radars or their storm uh, their storm radios. So I'm going to pull that up here. So you can see this third round. So this is the third round. When I say third round, I mean that evening and overnight round. That's what we are looking at here. So let's go through kind of chronologically the third round. Number one, from 7 p.m. to 3 a.m., that north uh, northwest corner of the state, that includes Muscle Shoals, Hamilton, those regions that, that get a lot of this weather because they're on that western side of the state, even Fayette. That is going to be uh, expected, I should say, to be hit first with this severe weather. Again, 7 p.m. to 3 a.m. Now, after the storms move out of that region, and again, this timing is all tentative. Unfortunately, the storms don't, uh, they don't listen to us and keep in mind that we're trying to inform everybody, right? So that second region that's expected in the timing is 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. So that's that second region. If you move a little bit down in the state, you can see where that is between those two dotted lines. Now that's the 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. region. 
that is including areas um, kind of up all across the the middle part of the state, right? And in when I say middle, I don't mean going uh, going down vertically. I mean horizontally. So that's a Tuscaloosa, Jasper, Coleman, Huntsville, Birmingham, even Demopolis and, and Jackson. So. That entire area, what, what's interesting here is that the Storm Prediction Center, who does not often use high risk, they did use a high risk warning today for these overnight storms. They also included Birmingham and Tuscaloosa in that high risk area. So you're looking at it right there in that 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. region. I know all of us hate storms, especially overnight storms. Those are obviously much scarier when it's dark. Everything is scarier in the dark. I don't care how old you are. So 11 p.m. to 4 a.m., that's where that region of the state, what we're looking at timing-wise right now. Let's move on a little bit more uh, more southeast. We've got midnight to 7 a.m. Thursday. That is where some of these storms are expected to hit the Evergreen, Auburn, Montgomery, Troy, Alex City, that region of the state. Again, keep in mind, this is a diagonal map. We're not necessarily going vertically down the state, right? We're not going north, central, south. We're moving it from west to east like these storms are moving. Midnight to 7 a.m., that's that region you are looking at. Again, Alex City, Auburn, Montgomery, Evergreen, Troy, that region, even up into uh, Aniston. I think somebody asked on our comments about Aniston. That is at real uh, early morning hours, overnight into early morning, midnight to 7 a.m. Going uh, towards Thursday morning as these storms start moving out of our state, we're looking at 4 a.m. to 10 a.m. as those storms again are moving into the east and getting out of Alabama. We're looking at that very, very southeast corner where we have uh, Eufaula and Dothan on that map. That is when they're looking to get hit. But Let's just repeat again, you cannot depend solely on these uh, the timing of these maps. You need to have ways to get your uh, your warnings to get some a warning to get out of bed, get to your safe space that is not just an outside siren. Looking through uh, some of your comments and some people asking about schools. I know one person, I believe it was Tim and Katrina, they said their kids are not going to be going to school on Thursday morning. We do have on AL.com a list of school closings, dismissals, etc. That you can find on AL.com. We'll make sure to leave that in these, uh, these comment links so you don't try to get out and drive to where uh, you get to school and then it's not even worth it. So, Looking through, again, some of these comments, I've got Joe saying this could be really rough today and tonight, and Joe is right. And I know Joe, I know he is uh, always watching weather. He's actually uh, who who I call a lot of times when I'm needing to get weather weather advice and what, what I need to wear for the day, we'll say. So Joe saying it could be rough. We know he is watching all of these radars. Don Jeanette, where does Gadsden and the south side fall? So Gadsden, you can see in this color-coded map that I've got next to me. I can't point the correct way. And uh, that is in still that, that high-risk area, which was expanded yesterday overnight to include some of our Tuscaloosa, Birmingham. Again, though, let's say, let's just remind everybody, number one, this map was from earlier this morning. I'm not sure if while I've been online, they have released an updated map. That's possible. This was from this morning. And let's remember that the Storm Prediction Center and the National Weather Service has told us, told forecasters, not to depend on that color code. You can easily be in that red, that orange, and you can say, oh, I don't have to worry, and then you won't be prepared, and then when a storm hits you, it could affect you worse because you are not prepared. I promise you, you are not going to be upset that you prepared and you downloaded a free app on your phone and you were ready and then nothing happened. I promise you will not. Uh, if you if you are upset about that, you can call me. I'm sure you will and let me know. But better be safe than sorry uh, is usually the way that I that I look at most things. So don't just depend on your color. Another thing that we, we noted earlier, but know the counties to the west of you. That means when storms start coming in from the west and your forecaster of choice that you are watching either on your phone, on your TV, they are telling you those counties to, uh, to get in their safe space. You will know that that storm is coming towards you because you are familiar with that map. We're going to leave all of this in our comments so you can keep an eye on 
on all those things. So on AL.com, we've got a forecast. So we've got live updates. In those live updates, we have uh, different things from cities that are closing early. We've got a school updating post uh, about dismissals and about closures. You can find all of that on AL.com. Uh, I will be with you through the rest of the day and tomorrow. Everybody, please heed these, these warnings. Please stay safe and keep up with AL.com for all of your forecasting information and for all of your weather information. If there's anything I can do to help you, please let me know. Drop it in these comments. I will try to jump in and answer any questions that I can and that I didn't get to. So everybody, please stay safe. That is extra important of a, uh, a line today. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.